I um, looked at the news headlines today online and as usual I found very little more than lies, falsehoods, jingoistic propaganda. That's pretty much the only thing that's on offer from the mainstream media. And it just prompted me to say that if there is one catastrophic, catastrophic um, failure, it, it, victim in, in, in this war, in this, in this conflict, it is the Western media. And, and, and that is, it really and truly is catastrophic. This is the world of, this is the global village we live in now. People used to say that back in the 70s, but now, then it was more of an aspiration. Now it is absolutely true. Instantaneously, people on the other side of the world, you know, everywhere in the world, are able to see how Western media are reporting the war in the Ukraine. That means that everybody who is not being brainwashed by the Western media, namely the populations of the West, everybody outside the West can actually see now, in real time, as it is happening, the active brainwashing of the Western populace, the Western electorates, and the consequences of that the total unreliability of Western reporting, the terrible bias of Western reporting, the accommodation of deliberate manipulation by, by state outlets, which in practice means the United States, because the West is predominantly the United States. The accommodation, the willingness, the abject surrender to the psychological warfare you know like agencies in the united principally in the united states but obviously um, facilitated by all of the nato intelligence services is is just stripped bare for every single person who's got access to the internet in the world to see china russia Whatever, you know, whatever tin pot state you, you might happen to live in outside of those countries um, don't need to brainwash you with their ideologies. They don't need to. They just simply, all they have to do is report the truth. You know, you don't need to worry whether you're living in a, a dictatorship or a, um, a, a so-called tyranny or, or whatever. I mean, what I mean is they don't need to concoct lies about the West. Not now. All they need to do is report the truth. The Western media manipulate public opinion in ways which absolutely um, outstrip the, the, the most ambitious plans, you know, of Joseph Goebbels or somebody like that. It is staggering. And now everybody can see it in real time. That is catastrophic. It is militarily catastrophic for the West. Just catastrophic. We will never be able to get the world population on our side. I don't think we'll ever be able to, to do it ever again. Because we are not the good guys. Western democracy can be seen in real time, not just to be failing, but to have already failed. The absolute key to democracy is not just a free press, but a free press which uses its freedom to report truthfully. That means not pretending that it knows things when it doesn't actually know. Um, I saw a ludicrous headline report um, on, on, on a, fr fr from the Daily Express today, on, online, you know. 
saying, um, oh, you know, the Russians have mined the Black Sea. There's mines everywhere in the Black Sea. I mean, you don't even need to hardly switch your brains on. I mean, the, the Russians, more than any other nation, depend on the Black Sea. They've got a Black Sea fleet, for God's sakes. Oh, what kind of harebrained, numbskulled, <laughs> how idiotic and thick would you have to be to actually mine the bloody Black Sea if you are the Russian Navy and you've got a Black Sea fleet? <laughs> I mean, it's just such crap. The reporting about the mining of Ukraine's ports has been going on for ages on independent outlets, on YouTube, amongst other, you know, major online outlets. And the only mines that have been reported have been laid by the Ukrainians themselves because they were afraid of precisely the Russian Black Sea Fleet facilitating uh, an invasion of the Ukrainian ports. Um, the only mines that I've seen identified were Ukrainian mines. They're mostly old Russian kind of stock. Why in God's name would the Black Sea Fleet? Why would the Russians mine? The, the way they reported it, oh, they mine the whole bloody Black Sea. They're all over the place. They've washed up in Romania and wherever. You know, it's, it's complete crap. You wouldn't do that if you've got billions and billions of rubles worth of sophisticated naval shipping, military naval shipping, and as, as well as your own peaceful uh, civilian shipping. Why, heaven's name, would the Russians do that? It just, it's farcical, absolutely farcical. It's just pure, pure, mindless, sensationalist, Propaganda designed to fire up the thickest type of people who, no doubt, buy, you know, presumably are the ones who buy the Daily Express, you know, or it's, it's, it's just astonishing. Not, not, not that it's just the Daily Express, I mean, the Daily Express is one extreme. That is supposedly tabloid right wing newspaper. Um, but the other the other end of the the spectrum is the tele the Daily Telegraph, which is supposed to be the broadsheet um, right wing newspaper conservative newspaper. The Daily Telegraph is really not much better. It, it's 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 had to be dragged reluctantly dragged to actually s start reporting something that approximates the truth. The truth right now is that the Russians are taking the east of the Ukraine. Every day, the reports are, barring the usual to and fro that you're bound to get in war, on the whole, the Russians are expanding the territories that they've captured in the east. The, the so-called the, 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 the Ukraine the, the big Ukrainian offensive in the north around Kharkiv is a very very limited affair. Um, it, it, there there is no major uh, success there. It it's not the principal place that the U, that the Russians are concentrating on. The Russians withdrew uh, somewhat to avoid unnecessary losses because. They're not interested at this moment. That's not the strategic priority. The way that the, the, the reporting generally has been going is that all of the main reports are, oh, the Ukrainians blew up a Russian tank. Amazing. Oh, the, Ru the, Rus the, the Ukrainians blew up 5,000 Russian tanks. You know, the, the, the garbage that comes out. Nobody even bothers. This is the, this is the day after... You know, the, Hours after the report, there's, <laughs> there's absolutely zero objectivity. You can only possibly get reports like that from the Ukrainians. Who else is going to provide instantaneous reports of massive Russian casualties? Who else but the, the Ukrainians are going to report that? 
If you've seen any reporting on the reporting itself in the Ukraine, you will know that the Ukrainians do not give very ready frontline access to journalists. That means that the Ukrainians are completely controlling all of the news, you know, from their perspective, they, uh, about the, the war. They're the ones who are actually totally controlling what gets reported. But you don't have to completely rely on that because there are other independent sources, mostly reported on YouTube, who actually do their best to try to report the actual truth. And it bears zero resemblance even to what's being reported in the supposedly, you know, creme de la creme Western media, the Daily Telegraph, the Guardian, the Independent, the Washington Post, you know, New York Times, these kind of, these kind of high status new, new news outlets, totally, totally biased, absolutely, completely biased. If you ever get any reports that slightly diverge from the main headline reports, they're only like on the back pages of the internet equivalent, you know, some little sub-story halfway down the page. Oh, by the way, the Russians are actually advancing. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, you would, you would think that that would be the headline report because it contrasts so totally to most of the other headline reports. Um, it's insane. The, the the sun, you know, yeah. I keep if you if you're on YouTube, you know, you, you see these things in your feed. The, the the garbage that the sun puts out. If it's got a big explosion and it happens to be a, a Russian tank or a, a number of Russian tanks, it's plastered all over the the internet. Um, if you'd follow the the reports of the sun, probably the Mirror, probably the the Daily Express. Obviously, I'm talking about British reporting. Um, if you follow any of those, CNN, you know, all, all that kind of stuff, if you follow any mainstream reporting, it's always the same. This entire war has been nothing but a constant parade of Ukrainian military successes and Russian war crimes. That's it. Nothing else. Russian abject failure, war crimes... Um, and perfidy, you know, generally. Yeah, they've laced the Black Sea with mines. Um, while the Ukrainians, the plucky Ukrainians, oh, they win every battle, you know. They're smashing up all the tanks, they're, they're, they're ambushing all the Russian, you know. Everything is a, a, a Ukrainian victory and, a, and a, a shameful Russian failure of one sort or another. And then, and then further down the page, oh, by the way, the Russians are actually advancing. Um, and no, we don't actually know the real Ukrainian casualty figures. And, uh, oh, yeah, you know, the, the battalions in, in uh, Azovstal, they didn't surrender. They were only evacuated to Russian prison camps. How, how in hell's name can the West preserve its reputation? How can it restore its reputation after this war. I don't think it will. I honestly do not think we even have the slightest grasp of the enormity of the damage that the mainstream Western media have done to the West's reputation all around the world. I'm talking China, India, Africa, Latin America. We can't possibly, we cannot possibly restore trust in the West. I, I honestly think we have defeated ourselves by undermining our, our global reputation. That's, that's how it looks to me. I mean, who the hell am I? You know, I'm just an ordinary guy doing a blog. But on the other hand, I am just an ordinary guy 
doing a blog. And there are billions of other people doing much the same kind of thing all around the globe, just like me, just ordinary guys, no great, you know, no great fan base or anything like that. Millions. And they'll all be thinking more or less the same thing. What in heaven's name is this crock of shit that is supposed to be Western freedom? What good is freedom if you abuse it by telling lies? That's all I want to say.